Let's start our weekend off with some creativity. I'm Molly Fulop, and this is Studio Saturdays. And today, to celebrate Women's History Month, we'll be making construction paper portraits inspired by Nina Chanel Abney. For today's project, you'll need one sheet of white paper, one sheet of black paper, six half sheets in multiple colors, a pencil, scissors, and glue. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at our featured artwork from the collection. Nina Chanel Abney is an American contemporary artist who works in paint and collage. A contemporary artist is an artist who is alive and making art right now. Today's piece, Helen with the Drip, is part of a series Abney began during the COVID-19 pandemic. Seeking an escape from the busy city, she began visiting the countryside of New York, where she rode her bike along nature trails. These trips inspired her to create a series of paintings set in a utopia. A utopia is an imagined place where everything is perfect, like a paradise. Abney's utopia is a place where she can hide from people and any judgments they have about who she is, what she does, and how she lives. In this space, she can farm, play, and enjoy life away from the rules of others. Abney's style in her paintings is inspired by collage, an artistic practice where a person cuts up many pieces of paper with different colors or different images on them, then puts the pieces together to make a new image. She uses stencils along with acrylic paint and spray paint to achieve this cutout effect. In this painting, Abney uses her collage-inspired technique to create a portrait of a person named Helen holding a deer in a leaf-scattered field in front of a forest. Abney often repeats symbols or numbers in her works. In this piece, the X symbol is repeated on the body of the deer and on Helen's shirt. Helen, the floor of leaves, the background of trees and the blue sky all seem to lay on the same flat surface together, with no true foreground and background. The background is made up of parts that are far away in the space of an artwork, like the trees that are small and distant. The foreground is made up of parts that are larger and closer to you, the viewer, like Helen and the deer. Abney's paintings show how you can create a larger space with only simple shapes and a few colors. For today's project, we will be making paper stencil collages inspired by the free spaces in Nina Chanel Abney's painting series, The Great Escape. Think about places where you feel most yourself. Use construction paper to cut out shapes and create a scene of your own outdoor utopia. For example, I love being outside and looking at bees, birds, and other animals in their own habitats, so I will create a scene of me in the outdoors. As you prepare to start your project, consider the following questions. What space are you happiest in? What is so special about that space? What activities or things are in that space that you enjoy doing or interacting with? How can you include these in your scene? Sketch out your scene on the white paper. As you draw, think of Abney's blocky style and use simple shapes so it will be easy to cut out. You will use this sketch as a reference to create your artwork. Decide what color each part of the sketch will be and then redraw the shapes onto the corresponding paper. You may want to work on one color at a time.
check off each section of the sketch as you draw them to keep track of your progress. Make sure as you're drawing to leave enough space so that you're able to fit everything. Have fun with the colors that you select. Your scene doesn't need to be realistic. Once you have finished drawing all of your parts, use scissors to cut out each shape and keep them together. Compare and adjust the pieces to each other as you cut them out. You may need to redo some of your shapes, so make sure to keep your leftover paper. Arrange the cutout shapes on a plain sheet of background paper to recreate your original sketch.
Once all pieces are cut out and arranged on paper, glue them into place to complete this Studio Saturday project. Thanks so much for joining us today as we made construction paper portraits inspired by Nina Chanel Abney. And we're going to be keeping our celebration of Women's History Month going on by creating some pipe cleaner neon inspired by Tracy Eman. Have a great day! Thanks again for joining us for Studio Saturdays. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to find out when a new video is uploaded. Have a good day!